What's going on everybody? Islam Muerta Blanca back with another Borderlands 3 character build video. It's been a little minute since we talked about my main going into this game, Amara. So I wanted to take a couple seconds and talk to you about another one of her builds, what I call Stacks on Stacks. The reason why I call it Stacks on Stacks is because this is all about the different stacking skills that she has across all of her skill trees. All of these of which do have an impact on the action skill, so this build is not only focusing on those stacks, but this is going to be a great build if you want to focus on really taking full advantage of your action skill. The great thing about Amara that a lot of people might not know yet is very similar to some of the other Sirens in the other Borderlands games. Her action skill cooldown is naturally lower than every single other character, so she'll be able to use whatever action skill you have equipped as often as possible because she already has a great cooldown and then with this build you're going to be buffing that action skill to the point where you might be using this more than your gun completely not true but that's what it's going to feel like another thing that i really love about this build is there's a lot of versatility to it so as you can see down in my equip skills I have the skill from the mystical assault tree that has the element from the fist of the elements tree that has the augment from the brawl tree. So I take advantage of all of these trees in the sense that you can choose whatever element you want to choose, fire, shock, or corrosive. You have a number of different augments, you have a number of different skills. So based on the situation, you can essentially pick and choose how you want to attack a certain situation with an action skill. If you want to go in with with what I decided to choose for this build, the Deliverance, which Amara will send forward an astral projection of herself, dealing damage to everything that's path. Whenever Amara's astral projection damages an enemy or object, it releases homing elemental projectiles that trigger her action skill elemental effect on enemies. So what that means is I'm gonna send a projection of myself. Every single time I hit something, an elemental projectile will trigger and home in on an enemy. That is going to be with a fire elemental damage because that's just what I have equipped right now, but it could also be shock or corrosive. And then I augmented it with the Nova from the Brawl Tree which Amara's action skill now creates a Nova when it damages enemies, dealing damage to all nearby enemies. So if this is the way you want to go and you want to pick this specific skill that I have set, that means that you're throwing an astral projection at your enemies. Every single time you hit an enemy, you're going to hit that Nova, which is going to cause everything to explode. But don't forget about the homing projectiles that will hit another enemy, causing another explosion. So there's going to be multiple ways to go with this. If you want to do the ground slam and you slam on the ground and then knocks all nearby enemies up, or if you want to do the laser beam and then ground slam on them and you want to go ahead and augment that with stillness of mind meaning that enemies damaged by amara's action skill become phase locked until their damage or the duration ends you can slam in and then everyone who gets hit by that slam immediately gets phase locked again using whatever element you want to use fire corrosive shock up to you this again is going to be an action skill based class that has a lot of versatility to what specific action skill you might want to use and this is different from for example my juggernaut class forces you to use the up close and personal ground slam my world burn class is all about the phase grasping this has a lot of versatility to it so if you love amara but you don't know which way to go with amara in terms of her action skills and you just kind of want to play around with some different things this might be the way you might want to start but diving straight into the skills themselves we start with do harm killing an enemy grants amara a stack of rush activating her action skill consumes all rush stacks for every stack of rush consumed amara's action skill damage is temporarily increased this is the first stack that we're going to be getting as we build out this character when you kill an enemy you get a rush stack then you use your action skill whether it be the astral projection or the slam or even if you want to go with the phase grasp all those stacks will be consumed and then the damage of your actual action skill will then go up we we had an extra point as we were building out this build, so I decided to throw one point, and I'll explain why one point in a second, into Violent Tapestry. Applying a status effect grants Amara a stack of rush. So not only does killing an enemy apply a stack of rush, but also applying a status effect will give us a stack of rush. And then of course, for every stack of rush consumed, Amara's static effect chance is temporarily increased. I only threw one point in here, and I'll tell you why. I felt some points could be better used elsewhere. As you can see, I filled up all the other stats that are going down this tree, but the one point allows us to apply rush stacks by doing status effects. So we can continue to build up those rush stacks that are going to help us get that extra action skill damage because with the maximum rush stacks that you see here, killing 10 enemies is going to be a little bit difficult in terms of waiting to use your action skill if you wanna get the full effect. So now you can either kill them or you can apply a status effect to them 
and that'll make it easier to build those rush stacks. If you really like the status effect chance to be high, great, add more points to this, but I figured the action skill damage would be more important, but I thought the ability to gain more stacks as quickly as possible would be key, which is why I threw a point into Violent Tapestry. If Amara's action skill cooldown still isn't fast enough for your taste, then jump into Restless. Amara gains increased action skill cooldown rate. That's 25%. So you are going to be building up your action skill and using it a quarter of the time more often than you already were. I love throwing out my action skill as much as possible when I run any of the other sirens that I like to play in Borderlands games. So this is always a must. Then we have Transcend. Amara gains increased accuracy and critical hit damage for a few seconds after activating her action skill. Just like I mentioned before, big on action skills, but also the buffs you get after doing an action skill. Accuracy and critical hit damage go hand in hand because you need to be more accurate to hit that crit point. And then doing more damage when you're hitting that critical hit is going to be great, especially when they're offering 27 percent for only three points then we go down into ascendant all action skill augments gain increased effects so this is going to be an excellent skill in order to really buff the hell out of whatever augment that you want to use then we come down to the next line where we have laid bare enemies take increased damage from all sources for a few seconds after being damaged by a mars action skill it doesn't matter where the damage is coming from it can be a teammate it could be flax pet it can be a grenade your gun a melee it could be another effect from your action skill the enemy enemy will take increased damage, 25% increased damage after being hit by the action skill. So if you phase grasp them and then you start shooting at them, that's an extra 25%. So this is gonna be a great skill for really laying into those enemies after you activate whatever that skill is. Coupled with that, we have Wrath. Amara gains increased gun damage. This effect is increased after she activates her action skill for a few seconds. So not only are the enemies taking 25% more damage after they get hit by our action skill, we're getting increased gun damage when we activate our action skill for eight seconds. Not to mention, we also have increased accuracy and critical hit damage. So if we are accurate enough to lay into that headshot, we have the increased gun damage and then we activate our action skill to make them take even more damage. All of this is gonna combo together very well, all because we activated our action skill. Then we move down into Awakening. Amara's Rush stacks gain increased effectiveness. The current stacks that we have for Rush, of course, are the status effect chance, which is gonna help, but again, we only have one point here, so it's not that crazy. But we also have the action skill damage which will be increased right now it's four and a half per stack then we add awakening which is going to be another 30 percent which is actually going to help assuming we have 10 stacks ready to go and we activate that action skill that action skill damage is going to be pretty good once we add awakening to that over to remnant when Amara kills an enemy with a gun or an action skill, she creates a homing projectile that seeks out a new enemy, dealing her action skill elemental damage. Any overkill damage is added to projectile's damage. So let's say your enemy is on its last string of health and you decide to pull out your world burn or your nukem or whatever giant rocket launcher that's in your back pocket and you just annihilate them. All of that overkill damage is then going to be going into a homing projectile, meaning you don't have to aim that into another enemy on top of the action skill elemental damage that you already have, that whether that be fire, corrosive, or shock based on what you have equipped here. And this goes for whenever you kill an enemy with a gun or an action skill. So if your action skill damage is super high and you kill him with the action skill, great, you get a homing projectile. If you have these buffs and you don't kill him with the action skill, but you kill him with your gun afterwards, great, you get a homing projectile. And these projectiles, again, going with the build that we have here specifically with my equipped skills, are going to be on top of all of the other homing projectiles we're getting by hitting things with our astral projection. Then we come down to the capstone of this build, which is going to help our action skill, which is going to help our stacks, which is gonna be huge for an action skill build with Amara. Avatar, Amara's action skill can be activated while it's cooling down. This skill may only be used once per completed cooldown. Additionally, increases Amara's max rush stacks. Additionally, if Amara's action skill kills an enemy, it refunds half of her rush stacks. So this works in a number of ways, which is Excellent, I mean excellent if you're doing an action skill build. We already have our cooldown as low as we could possibly get it because we have Restless. But you know what? You're just like, screw that cooldown. I'm not gonna wait for that. Then use it again. If you have Astral Projection, throw that Astral Projection out there at a group of enemies. Don't wait for your cooldown. Turn around and see all those enemies that are trying to flank you and throw that astral projection at them. And then you just got to wait for one single cooldown. Or if you're doing the slam, then you can slam on them, slam on them again because you didn't kill them the first time. You have the phase grasp. Grab one, grab another. 
you don't have to worry about a cooldown anymore. Now you can only do this once per cooldown, which is fine, but because we have Restless, and because Amara's cooldown is already pretty good, it's not like you're gonna be waiting very long to use it twice again, but then it gets even better. Additionally increases Amara's max rush stacks by 10. So we're doubling the number of rush stacks that we can have. So we can go all the way up to 20 by killing enemies or by applying a status effect, and then that'll increase our action skill damage, that'll increase our status effect chance, that is going to be huge because we have Awakening, which is increasing the effectiveness of all those stacks. And then if we kill an enemy with an action skill, then we're getting half of those rush stacks back. So let's say we have 20 rush stacks and we worked really hard to get those 20 rush stacks. We kill an enemy with our slam or with our astral projection. Then we're starting again with 10 rush stacks. We don't have to work as hard in order to keep those rush stacks high as long as we're making sure we're killing at least one enemy with those rush stacks. Again, if you were going for a action skill focused Amara build or you don't know which way you want to go with your Amara build and you're just going to play it safe and go with her action skills, this mystical salt tree is the way you need to start 100%. Then we go into the fist of the elements tree and I'll be honest with you guys the only reason why I decided to put any points at all into the fist of elements tree is because in order to get the soul fire which is the incendiary damage for your action skill we needed to put at least five points into this tree. So we decided to go with infusion convert a portion of damage dealt by Amara's weapons into her action skill element. So 40% of our weapon damage and let's not forget we have the weapon damage buffs from here and we have the damage that they're going to be taking extra from here and we have all a bunch of other buffs that are going to be helping our damage and the critical hits and the accuracy all of that is going to be going into our action skill element so not a bad skill to have but again the main reason why we did this tree is because we wanted the option to do fire in case we run into a mob that has a giant health pool but no armor or shields and of course fire is the best way to take care of that type of enemy the rest of our points we decided to throw into brawl not only to unlock the corrosive element if we decide to go that with Blight Tiger, but also there are a number of skills here that give us additional stacks on top of more utility for our action skill. In this first line, we had to put five points somewhere in order to unlock the next level. So we went with Clarity, where Amara will constantly regenerate health, the lower her health, the more powerful the regeneration. After using an action skill, this bonus is doubled for a few seconds. So this is a great skill, not only because you're just regening health in general, especially if your health is low, you get higher health regen, but using an action skill doubles the health regen for five seconds. So this is going to be an excellent skill for keeping you alive, plus you have the bonus for after using the action skill. So after you use your action skill, at this point, guys, we have better accuracy, better crit damage, better gun damage, and now we regen health. Offensive and defensive buffs just for using our action skill. And we can use it twice now in a row, don't forget. And we already have a great cooldown. So health regen will probably be pretty constant in terms of getting that doubled effect. If you wanna forego that and go max health, you can go max health. But I felt the health regen would be more useful in a lot of these situations that you'll be in. Then our next stack is going to be Samsara. Whenever Amara deals damage to an enemy with her action skill, she adds a stack of Samsara. For every stack of Samsara, Amara gains increased gun damage and health regen for a few seconds. Stacks decay after a few seconds. When we use our action skill, and for this build, like I mentioned, I decided to go with the Astral Projection that has the homing missiles, a plus the Nova, and then again, whatever element you want to choose. Another reason why I chose to do that combo between the skill and the augment is because we're getting AoEs, homing projectiles, that are also going to create AoEs, as well as a way to get a penetrating shot that will create more AoEs. So we're going to be hitting a lot of things. Every single time we deal damage, not even kill them, just deal damage to an enemy with our action skill, we're getting one of these Samsara stacks, which are going to give us more gun damage and more health regen. Duration 20 seconds. That lasts a while. Yeah, you can only have five stacks, but if you get all five stacks within that 20 seconds, you're getting 25% damage and 25% max health per second. That's pretty good if you're able to do a bunch of damage to a bunch of enemies with your action skill, which I feel like you'll be able to do with these equip skills, or which I feel like you could really do with any combination of skills so long as you're in the right situation. Coming over to Helping Hands, for a few seconds after using her action skill, Amara's arms remain active and grant her damage reduction. So for 15 seconds after doing your action skill, you get 35% damage reduction. A great survivability buff that is going to help you survive these fights. And if you're able to stack those action skills 
in a way where after that 15 seconds, you activate it again and get another 15 seconds, that could go a long way to giving you that damage reduction for a long period of time. The final skill for our stacks on stacks build is, you guessed it, another stacking buff. Whenever Amara takes damage, she gains a stack of mindfulness. For every stack of mindfulness, Amara gains improved shield regen delay and movement speed. Stacks decay after a few seconds. Not only are we getting stacks that are gonna give us action skill damage and status effect chance, and the effectiveness of those stacks are going up, and we're doubling the amount of those rush stacks, we're getting stacks that are gonna help our gun damage and our health regen. Now we're getting stacks that are gonna help our shield regen and our movement speed. This is for every single time we take damage. So let's say we run into an enemy that has a minigun and every single one of those bullets is coming at us very quickly, but every single one of those bullets individually is not doing a ton of damage. We can get up to 25 stacks. So those 25 first shots that hit us are going to hit us and give us a crazy boost to our shield regen delay and our movement speed we're gonna be running around like flash and our shield's not gonna be going down because it's just gonna be regening that quickly think about it 23 percent times 25 that's a potential situation you could be in if you have the mindfulness perk available as i mentioned this build is going to be a great build if you want to focus on your action skills if you like an amara that is versatile if you like for example you played and loved gauge from borderlands 2 and you like characters that have those stacks that continuously buff you based on actions that you do. This is going to be an amazing build if you just want general versatility with your action skill. If you want to constantly switch between elements or based on the situation, you want to switch up how you're going to approach the attack with both your action skill and your augment. This is going to be an amazing build for you. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to drop a like comment tell me what you think about this tell me what you think about all the other builds that we've done up to this point the game is days away and it's dropping how are you gonna play your character tell me i want to know also please don't forget to subscribe as well as turn on your notifications so you can catch all the awesome long white blanca content that we got coming down the pipeline you'll also be getting those notifications for any of the live streams that we do here on youtube i also stream on mixer or twitch if you prefer those channels all the links can be found in the description below Guys, I cannot wait. It is almost here. It is almost time. Borderlands 3. It's going to be crazy. And I hope to see a lot of you Vault Hunters out there on the different planets. I hope to see you all on Sanctuary 3. If you want to play, hit me up. All my gamer tags and everything else can be found in my channels as well. I'm Lamoite Blanca, and I'll catch you guys next time.